Well, it's recording. So That's fine. Yeah, just don't look at me. That's better. <laughs> hey guys, for those just tuning in now, uh, my name is Bianca. And for those who have probably seen our videos before, I'm Esteban Joseph's fiance, who you've probably seen kind of stand in, be the dummy who he gets to chuck around while he shows you guys jiu-jitsu techniques. But I'm actually a yoga instructor for a handful of years now, and I thought it was really important to start to target some stretching, especially ones regarding posture. So I'm going to show you about six different uh, basic stretches just to help with, over time, fix our posture. And we're going to start with a simple neck stretch. So one thing to make a note of before I actually get started is, you know, sitting at desks for a long period of time, start to really round the back, round the shoulders. Even nowadays, us texting on our phones, we even start to reach that neck forward. It causes so much tension. Um, for the jiu-jitsu students, you guys are always on your back, arching, curving, reaching, and that just starts to destroy posture, especially if you forget to actually open everything up. And that's just what these stretches are for. So start by sitting comfortably, whether you're on the floor in a cross-legged seated position or even in a chair, and just bring that right ear to the right shoulder. Take your right hand and reach it over to the left ear and give it a gentle tug. Just allow everything to open up. Just even follow your breath, keep your body nice and calm. You can even nod your head and find that tightest point and then just hold there to help keep releasing most of that tension. A lot of times when we have a lot of tension in the neck, you tend to bite down really hard on the teeth. Make sure that the jaw is unclenched, be aware of that. In this one, feel that left shoulder actively sinking down and away from that ear. That way you get to deepen the stretch. Just holding for a little bit maybe about a minute or so, and then release. And of course you always want to do the other side. So bring that left ear to the left shoulder, left hand over to that right ear, and again, just tug down gently. Now I say gently because if you do have a lot of tension in the neck or even something like arthritis in the neck, you don't want to be like yanking your neck down to the side. Always be gentle. We still want the mobility in those cases, but we don't want to overdo it. So be aware of the body, be careful with how much you pull. Again, you can always nod that head, find that tightest point, and then just hold there. Feel that right shoulder actively sinking away deep in that stretch. Just breathe through it, feel everything just releasing from the body, from the neck. And then release and straighten that neck back up. Another little thing we can do for a bit of extra mobility is still sitting nice and tall wherever you are, tilt your chin up towards the ceiling. Now this, you want to feel that spine lengthening and then have that chin tilt up. Maybe part the lips a little bit while you rest here and really stretch out the front of the neck. Holding just for a few breaths and then lift that neck back up and tuck the chin to the chest. If you need a bit more pressure here, just take the palms on the back of the head and again, gently pull down, feeling that stretch from the base of the skull, even all the way down to the low back, depending on how tight you are. And then just release after about maybe a minute or even just under for those ones. And now we're just gonna go right onto a basic arm stretch. Again, wherever you're seated comfortably, always sitting nice and tall, you wanna take that right arm, reach it across to the left, use your left forearm or hand to help pull that right arm towards the body. Now make sure that you're not shrugging up the shoulders. You want to make sure the shoulders are dropped and depressed away from the ears. Feel the scapula, that back um, where the shoulder blade is, that muscle stretching out nice. If you find that your arm starts to bend, that right arm is bending too much, you can always grab a hold of your elbow instead and pull that towards the body. Because I know sometimes we have a difficulty just keeping that arm straight, so you can always grab the elbow and push in. Always holding for maybe about a minute or so, and then switching it up with that left arm reaching it across to the right. Use the right forearm or hand to help pull it in towards the body, and just hold while you get that nice stretch. So moving on to now a bit with the front of the body, where we want to continue to open up the abs, the ribs, all of that. So come right down onto your stomach, onto the floor or the mat where you are. Make sure your toes are untucked, and then bring your elbows underneath the shoulders so it will prop you up. Here we want to make sure a few things. So we want to make sure that our shoulders are away from the ears so we're not shrugging into them. So push them away from the ears, and then also squeeze the shoulder blades together. 
and that way our chest is puffing forwards. While you hold that, you then want to try to peel that chest a little bit further away from the mat. Do you see that slight difference? Just a little bit of a difference, really opening up the chest, the ribs. And then you also want to make sure that you're activating the glutes. And that way that protects and activates the low back. And we want to basically be gaining strength while we get this mobility and flexibility. We don't want to be contortionists, you know, too flexible without that strength. So always make sure you're listening to all these cues. Also, when holding this pose, make sure you're not cranking your neck up to the ceiling. Keep the gaze either going forwards or a little bit down towards the mat. Continue to breathe here. Never hold your breath as a lot of people do. Just breathe, be comfortable. Checking in once in a while with your body to make sure that all the muscles are still active. And just hold for easily two to four minutes if you can. From here, you can even go into a bit of a deeper back bend, stretching out even more of the abdominals by putting the weight into the hands and straightening up those arms. Following the same cues, make sure the shoulders are away from the ears, squeeze those shoulder blades together and puff that chest forwards. Still activating the glutes, make sure that low back is active. And then over time, if you are used to low back bends, you can always walk those hands towards your body so they're eventually underneath the shoulders. But if you feel a sharp pinch in that low back, don't go that far. Keep yourself to where you're comfortable, where you're not feeling that sharp pinch. And again, just hold for easy about two, four minutes, maybe a bit less for this one but we just really want to get that nice stretch in the front of the body. So after these back bends, we want to go into a quick shoulder opener. So coming all the way down back to your stomach, reach that right arm out to the side. Now you want to roll your chest open to the opposite direction that your arm is pointing in. Here you can always use that top leg, that left leg, and place the sole of the foot on the ground, bending that knee, using it for extra stability. That way you can always push more open or ease up the stretch. Now coming back to the center, don't forget you always want to also do the left side, the opposite side, and roll your chest open in that opposite direction your arm is pointing in. Now here sometimes you might get a little bit of pins and needles, and that's always okay. Our nerves travel underneath the collarbone and it sometimes pinches it down a bit. Don't worry about it unless you're feeling a lot of pain. If you're feeling pain, of course, pull out of the pose or ease it up, but if you're not, just hold there Keep breathing through it and just relax the body as you get a nice stretch. So right from these back bends, we can lift ourselves up and go straight into child's pose, which is where you sit back on your heels, reach those arms forwards, and bring your forehead down to the mat. Here you can always open up those knees a little bit, so that way you let your stomach sink down in between rather than having them together, but honestly that's all just preference. So when you go into child's pose, there's two things you want to be aware of. You still want it to be active. So when you're reaching forwards, you want to still feel the shoulder blades dropping down the back and feel the crown of the head reaching forwards. And that way, that helps to lengthen and neutralize the spine. It's a perfect counter pose after opening up our front and just compressing that low back because we don't want to go right into a deep forward fold all of a sudden. We want to be, again, gentle with it. You hear me say that a lot? But we want to make sure we are gentle with stretches, especially if we're going to hold them for a longer period of time. Child's pose you can hold really as long as you want. Um, probably again about two, four minutes, especially as a counter for those back bends. If your knees hurt a lot when you're in child's pose, you can actually always even grab a few pillows, place them in front of you, that way your stomach is lifted up rather than all the way down to the mat. Or you can even roll up a towel and place it but here right behind the knee. That way it helps to lift up and release some of that pressure. So just a few little modifications for you. So just two notes before we go. One would be never listen to that stupid saying, no pain, no gain. If you're feeling pain, that sharp pinching, sharp pain while stretching, you don't want that. Don't do that. Ease up on your stretches. You just want to feel that gentle tug, that light discomfort every stretch will give you, and then you're good. The second note would be, if you really want to work on that posture, make sure you're strengthening the back while stretching the front. And that way that will help actually pull you a lot more straight. That's a really important note. Remember to strengthen the back as well. So thanks again for watching. I really always appreciate that. And I do 
hope that these stretches become really, really helpful for you guys. As always though, follow us on Instagram, subscribe to our channel over here, or click here to just keep watching more videos.